Hello my beautiful darklings, I'm back on YouTube I'm going to do a tutorial today on a summer gothic look. I already have my contacts in, my black scleras. I usually put them in before I start my makeup because it's just a mess with the contact solution, trying to put them in and ruins my whole eye makeup. So first of all, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. primer. I haven't been on YouTube in a while. I've been taking a break, focusing on my artwork. I will post a link in the info box below. I love this primer. It's great. It's not too, not too waxy like the poor professional from Benefit. I'm mostly putting it in my T-zone, my cheeks and where I have pores that show. So my forehead, my nose, my cheeks and my chin. I usually wait about five minutes and then I'll go to my next step in the application. So I'll be back in a couple minutes. So my next step is the green color corrector. It corrects redness. It's from Jeffree Star. I love this. I missed out on the pink one. Um, it's sold out, so I'm just putting it in my red spots, mostly on my cheeks, my chin, and my nose, and my forehead. Face is a little bit red most of the time. I try to stay out of the sun, but just have red undertones to my skin. And I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Morphe sponge here, Beauty Blender. I'm just patting this in and I got my little Kat Von D mirror here to help me see what I'm doing. <laughs> no tea or any shade. I like both people's products, Kat Von D and Jeffree Star. I respect both of them. They both have their own opinions and whatever. <laughs> I don't get into the drama. I just So it's going to look a little funky right now, but this will cover up with the concealer and the foundation and everything. Kind of will even out my skin from the redness underneath. All my products on this channel are vegan. I've been vegan for three years now. I It was completely easy for me. I never really ate meat or like dairy products. So, blending this in. So, it's nice and blended in and it's not too green. So, I'm going to go on to the next step. That's foundation. So, for foundation, I'm going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay in Ivory. I have fairly fair skin. I usually pick the lightest foundation. So, this is a good coverage for me and it does pretty well if I perspire or in the heat or the humidity where I'm at. So going to using the beauty blender again. I used to use a brush but I found my like better application with the sponge. It, does, it goes more into the skin. It doesn't just sit there, leave streaks. So not doing it too thick. Forget the neck. <laughs> Make sure it's blended down here. This one is great for like a matte effect. It's great for when you're dancing or going out doesn't go all funky and oxidize or anything. I've been using this foundation for several years. I've tried other ones and they just had bad results like the Fenty foundation just oxidizes and gets all funky on my skin and patchy and lifts up and just not a pretty look. <laughs> 
So what are all of you guys doing this weekend? <laughs> Saturday night here, going out to a little little goth club here tonight. Go do a little dancing. I love dancing. So I'm just patting, you know the drill. Just pat and just blend it down to your neck. You want to be gentle. And put a little more on the cheeks. There's still a little bit of redness. And then blend it up into your hairline. So I'm going to go back and with the smaller Jeffree Star Morphe sponge and go into like the corners of their nose and around the eyes. Be careful of the contacts. <laughs> A little bit under the eyes, blend it in. I love this mirror. Has that the little tattoo stars? <laughs> so blending around the corners of the eyes, and the little lines on your between your eyes here, and nose. Okay, it's looking good. I'm doing my best with the lighting. I'm still a growing channel here. Maybe I'll get a ring light soon. So I'll be back. I'm gonna let this set for like a few minutes and then I'll put the concealer on. See you in a few. So next I'm gonna be using concealer. I have the Jeffree Star concealer here in the shade C4. It's a light cut, light concealer with the rose undertones. Luckily, I wasn't the C5. All the drama with that. <laughs> so here we go. We put it under my eyes. Spot it wherever. <laughs> I got it in the Morphe store. I don't like buying foundation or concealer online because I want to match it and like see it in person. I'll buy anything else online, but just foundations or concealers are a no-go for me. I'm running out of this thing to get a new one. I think they're sold out, so we'll have to... They're not selling them in Morphe anymore. That's kind of a bummer. I love getting the new collections when they're released at Morphe. I got the Jawbreaker in the store, so I didn't have to wait for shipping. It was awesome. Okay, I think that's enough. I think that's enough concealer. What do you think? <laughs> so I got my beauty blender here again. Let's ring it out. <laughs> Tend to use a lot of concealer to get all over coverage. So how has your week been everybody? Feel free to like and subscribe and Put on the notification, the subscribe button right down there, the notifications right there. <laughs> and a little growing channel here and show me the love. <laughs> so in the comments below post what your foundation or your concealer which your go-to is i love the tarte amazonian clay for my foundation and i still like shape tape but i'm using up the jeffrey star one 
Okay, it looks nice and blended there. So I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow primer. I got the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion here. running out here. <laughs> so let's put a little bit on here. This helps let the eyeshadow stay in place and not crease. Gonna go back in with the smaller beauty blender here. Go around here too with the concealer. Make sure everything is nice and blended. Could go your nose, the corners. Okay, I'm going to let this set for about five minutes, then we're going to powder. <laughs> so now I'm going to be putting powder on. I have 100% pure bamboo blur powder. I like this one. I'm just using it up. It's not my favorite. I got this in the Love Goodly Vegan Makeup subscription box. I will post a link down below. It's like really white, and it does actually give a bit of a flashback so don't use this if you're gonna be um, having flash photography done of you so it's okay though but I it's good for baking I found that personally for me the Jeffree Star <coughs> setting powder is not good for me for baking it tends to be cakey and patches up like flour dusting that all over <coughs> I'm very sensitive to like stuff in the air I have allergies and but I'm sure it wouldn't bother most people <laughs> it's vegan and the powder I really like is Oh, I like the Airspun Cody one, and and there's one from Revlon, I think. I don't know. I haven't used it in a while. I'm just trying to use this one up here. It's got this stupid net on it. It's hard to get it out. I'm just trying to make it work here. It's almost out. So my next video, I'll look for that powder and I'll have it. It's really difficult to get out. So I'm going to bake now. I got my little wet sponge here. Let's bake under the eyes. And around the nose. See if we can get some more out of here. <laughs> I know, it's kind of a pain. <laughs> this one's kind of the ITC. You know what? <laughs> there we go. We got a poof. There's powder going everywhere. I think that's enough. Poof. And kind of see it baking. Just pressing in on the damp sponge here. So I'm going to clean up this powder mess and clean up my sponges and I will be right back. I'm back. So I got all of the powder situation cleaned up. Now we're going to go onto the eyes. I'm using the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. I actually got it after it was sold out. I got it on eBay. 
I'm going to be making like a gray, black, smoky eye and doing some lines like a cyber goth. So I'm going to go into stone, stone right here. And I'm using a flat brush from Ulta. It's just a flat eyeshadow brush, Ulta brand. And I'm going to pack it on here. Here we go. I'm going to be putting it mostly on the whole, on the whole like lower part of the eyelid. And we're going to go back and contour on the crease with black. I love Kat Von D's blacks and her matte colors. So I'm just not being too neat about it. Just trying to get it in the general area. We're going to blend it out in a little bit. Okay, and onto the other eye. I can't do like one eye and finish and then do the other one. I like to do one step on each eye as I go so they're make them both even. It's easier for me. <laughs> so this mat is pretty. Good. It takes a few times going back and forth into the pan, but it is pretty full. Cover is not streaky or patchy on the eye. going to be some fallout, but that's what the bake is for. So there's our gray there. And next up, I have an Eco Tools brush. It's double ended. I'm going to be using the stumpy side. It's for in the crease. A little off the excess here. And I'm going to be using Jet and the metal matte palette. So just patting that on. I'm going to be going in the crease here. You can kind of see it's a little bit darker than stone. And then patting it on the outer quarter part so it kind of gives it some depth. And I'm going to blend it with the other side here. Get in the crease here. And onto the other eye. So, what is everybody doing this weekend? Today I was kind of a bum, I was just reading, and I had my coffee, went outside, made my favorite chair, and I made lunch, and I took a nap, so I'd be ready to go out tonight. Yesterday I was working on art, I went to an art show, and then I went to the gym, taking it easy last night, not partying. So you can kind of see the black there. I know my lighting sucks. <laughs> okay. Okay, and we're gonna get a clean fluffy brush. I have one from the Dragon collection. I will link it below. Blow that out. And we're gonna blend it out on the upper part. So it's not such a harsh line here. I'm going to blow the part off the kickback off underneath here. Okay, it left a little bit of a mess, but we're kind of going for a messy look. We're going to put some black underneath the eye here. Let's try to get some more of this off. And we can use like a stipple brush to get some off. Okay, it's a little better. <laughs> Always have problems with the fallout. <laughs> and 
anybody has any makeup tips for me, just let me know. I am just doing what I have learned from my the videos that I watch. So I think we've got the fallout out. Fallout. <laughs> and we're gonna go back in the metal palette and we are going to go under the eyes here with the black, which is kind of outline underneath. And blend it out with the other side. It's a little bit like messy looking. And we're going to blend out the top a little more in that other eye. Just want a subtle color, doesn't want a sharp line. You don't want a sharp line underneath there. Okay. Okay, on um, the next step, we're going to highlight the upper part of the eyes. We're going to be using the Saint and Sinner palette over here. I love this palette. I love the design of it. I'm going to go in with Cathedral. It's a shade right down here. Right there. I'm going to get another of those Dragon Collection brushes. Happy accident. I love this little sparkle shade. So we're going to go up on the upper part of the eye. It's kind of a dark highlighter. It has a little bit of a purple shift to it. And we're going to put it on the other one. Just blend it in with the shadow on the lower part of your eyelid. kind of see that. <laughs> I'll post a picture here. I love this palette. <laughs> it's had it forever, but it's still good. You can kind of see that. So now we're going to do eyeliner. I always do my eyebrows last because that seems to work for me. I tend to get eyeshadow in my eyebrows if and it gets all funky. So we're going to do eyeliner next. Blow some of this off of here. Okay, for my eyeliner, I am going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Tip Eyeliner. This one works pretty well for me. I'm gonna draw a little bit of a cat eye here, a little line. Drawing very close to my eyelashes here. The bottom, very careful not to get it in my eye, the contacts. And over here. A short little cat eye there. And I'm going to try to match it over here. Everybody makes weird faces when they're putting on eyeliner. Okay, now the bottom. Next, I'm going to be doing my waterline, and I usually do that when I go out. I 
just makes more makes it more dramatic, give it more impact. Okay, I think we're good here. Make it a little thicker on top if you want. looks pretty even to me. Okay. So we're going to okay, we're going to do the waterline now. I have the around the clock midnight bare minerals. Let's see. This is hard to do with holding the mirror because I have to use two pants. I'm going to go like this and do it. So I'm just going in and this water line. I'm covering up the pink part of the inside of your eye. You don't want to tug too hard. Be kind of gentle here. Okay, I'm going to finish doing this off camera because I need two hands in the mirror. So now I got the waterline in. And next, I'm going to be curling my lashes. I just have, I don't even know what brand this is. So it's been so old, you have a lash curler forever. They really don't need a new one. So be very careful here. I'm curling. Hold it for like five or 10 seconds here. So what bands have you been listening to lately? What kind of music? I've been into Sailor Knot a lot lately and I request it tonight. Hopefully they will play it. The mascara now, I'm going to be using Urban Decay Perversion. I love this one. It's just the best one that I found. I found it's better than the Better Than Sex Mascara. This one just makes my lashes like really long and thick and really pop like I do not like wearing false eyelashes it's a real pain for me I don't like putting them on especially with contacts that irritates my eyes they are sensitive like I'll either do one or the other false eyelashes or contacts like my eyes can't handle both of them <laughs> and next I'm going to be combing it out using the Morphe M221 brush I love this little metal comb just kind of Spreads them out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do it to the other eye too now. Okay, I don't know if you can see, everything is pretty dark with my eyes and my contacts, but I got the mascara on here. And now I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows. I have brown I should not use black or should use do pink eyebrows maybe I have this brown from Avon my mom gave this to me brown like Avon glimmer stick waterproof eyeliner I'm using it as eyebrows I like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one too but it's just really expensive I need to get a new one the brow whiz. I tend to like pencils better. I don't like the powder and the little box container thing. I have like an Urban Decay 
one powder thing. I don't like it that much. And with the wax, it's just like too many steps. I'd rather just do a pencil. Try to make things as easy as I can. So I'm just drawing my eyebrows on here. Just going very carefully, doing little short strokes here. I'm just trying to follow the natural shape. I usually, I only have like eyebrows from like the first half, like they don't grow very thick, so. Just kind of draw in the natural shape where you think it would be. Try to make them even right here. Okay, and we're good. Next, I'm going to be doing contour and then blush and highlighter. Usually, I'll start off with contour and then work my way up. Ah, careful here. I have the Jeffree Star Onyx Eyes. As you can see, it's shattered. I'm still trying to make it work. I heard they're really difficult to repress, so just kind of going in with these little crumblies here and make, taking a bit off. going to do this contour with the black here, not too strong. I'm going to start at the ear and just kind of see the natural shape of the hollow of the cheek. Kind of have it fade down here, blend it out. Kind of it makes you look a little bit fierce. Do on the other side. to match here. One cheek is always easier to do than the other one. There we go. We got the going good there. I need to do some cleanup here. This one did not want to cooperate. <laughs> so I'm going to go back in with my foundation. I'm going to use a brush this time because I don't want to get my beauty blender wet again. It's covering pretty well here. I'm going to use my finger too to like kind of blend it out. Covering that little mess up pretty well here. So this is just a Sigma brush here, flat Kabuki brush, F80. Okay, and we're going to use a little tissue here. We're going to go back in with the powder brush because we got all the powder off. The dust off the big too. Okay, and then we'll go back in with our contour brush, try to clean this up here. Perfect. Looks pretty even here. And this is trial and error. <laughs> Okay, next I'm going to add, I'm gonna get this black out of here before I make a huge mess with it. I'm not even going to try to repatch it because I've heard it's so difficult. So next I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I like this one in the middle here. I'm going to mix them all, like whatever. <sighs> And add a little brown to like tone it down a little bit and go down under the chin and go around the forehead, the perimeter here.
give it a little dimension to your face. And I'm gonna go back in with, I like to use, trying to use up all of my contours here. I have the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil in light medium. I'm just trying to use it up here. And see I've hit the pan severely here. I use this every time just trying to use it up. <laughs> under the neck here too and then I'm gonna go in with my naked illuminated from urban decay it's in the shade lit I'm trying to use this one up too it's like the sparkly contour thing I don't know just put it around here give it a little sparkle and contour if you have any makeup suggestions just put them in the comments below I just kind of watch other YouTube channels and take what I can to make it my own. So I'm going to be contouring the nose now. Use a little brush here. Some little Avon. No, not that one. This one's good. Crease brush from Avon. I'm going to be using the Shade and Light palette, the one in the middle here. Drop off the excess. Just follow the line of your, from your eyebrows down straight to your nose, your nostril. Not do it too harsh. Okay, next we put the foundation away. This is looking a little bit severe. What do you think? I think I'm gonna blend it out a bit. Okay, next I'm going to do the blush. I have a blush brush here from that Dragon set. I'm going to be using the Patrick Star Matte Collab, Take Me Home. I've got the two shades here. I just kind of swirl and mix them together. It's like a subtle, muted, rosy blush here. Don't like a lot of like overpowering blush. Okay, and now for the favorite part, the highlighter. Yay! I'm going to be glowing for days. I'm going to be using Jeffree Star's Supreme Frost and Candy Apple Drip. I love his new collection, the summer one, of the packaging. Did not get a mystery box because I was kind of disappointed with the last one. I don't know, it just was not for me, I guess. I'm going to be using this dragon one here. Highlighter to shake off the old part. Keep going in. I'm going to stay on the cheeks here. I love the iridescent, it's like duochrome. The nose here, on the chin, the forehead too. We're going to be putting some eyeliner over this. I'm going to do like a little cyber goth pattern here. Kind of came up with I will link down people below who I find inspiration from. Think... 
That's a bit much. What do you think? I kind of like it. But I'm going to wipe a little bit off. We're going to be putting something over it so it'll kind of cover it up anyway. Okay. Everything is looking great here. So now we're going to do the lines. I have a little picture here I drew. A little sketch of what I want to do here. The lines on the nose and some dots. And beautiful. It's Pusheen there. I love Pusheen. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the lines. We're going to be doing Urban Decay Razor Sharp Eyeliner. Water resistant, long wear liquid eyeliner. I like this one a lot. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna be doing a line from here, an angle here. I'm just gonna draw it lightly so I can fill it in later. Just so I can like get the basic shape out right there to the edge. And then I'm going to go down like that. Bam. I guess it's going to be kind of thick there. Not too thick. I'm just gonna do one high for you guys and then I'll do the other one off camera because this is gonna take me a million years here. No, maybe like not a million years, maybe like a 30 minutes. Nah. Okay, we've got a little angle here. Okay, next we are going to be doing some lines that are going to go shorter here. Going to kind of go with the highlights. Fill them in here now. It's time consuming, but it'll look great in the end. Just be very careful and have a steady hand here. So the smaller lines you can kind of like keep going, you don't have to dip back in. Gonna clean it up a bit here. on the forehead, some dots that are going to get smaller as we go up.
if you make a little mistake, just get a little Q-tip, very gently there. Back and next one, then make it a little smaller. Smallest one. Okay, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I will be right back. So as you can see, I made a little bit of a mess. I'm going to be cleaning it up with a tissue. It'll be dark. No one will see. <laughs> and then I'm going to buff it out some more with the, blood, the brush. I think I'm gonna go in with some concealer here to fix this up. So I cleaned it up a bit. I'm gonna work on the dots on the chin now. Have bigger and then go to smaller here. This is not easy. <laughs> Okay, next one. Okay, we got a little dots, so I'm just going to try to fill it in. Kind of tickles. <laughs> Okay. 
they're a little bit off center, but it's okay. Okay, it's as good as it's gonna get. Now we're gonna draw lines on the nose. Really tricky drawing a line on a curved surface. I'm gonna do my best here. Pretty good. I'm gonna keep them spaced out apart so they don't kind of blend into each other. And we're just gonna do one more here. Okay, I'm gonna do this other side here off camera and I will be back. What do you think? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. <laughs> so I'm back, I finished the other side here. It looks a little bit better than the other one, but it'll be dark, no one will really see it. Probably not gonna be on the smoking patio because I don't smoke, I have asthma. Also, it's too damn hot and humid out. So the last step is setting spray. I've got the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I love the spray on this one. I like it better than the Urban Decay. And I got my little fan here. So here we go, set for days. Ah, refreshing. So I'm gonna fan it a little bit for a few seconds. Let it soak in here. Okay, that's good, so we're done. I'm gonna do my hair, I'm gonna do my lipstick, put my clothes on and my jewelry, and I will see you in a second. So I am back with the finished look. I got my lipstick on. I use Jeffree Star Weirdo. It's a great black. I let it dry down and I blot it on the inside. And I put my fangs in, they're by Mia Black. I'll link everything down below that I used and everything that I can. I got this from the Thorn and Moon. If you live in Houston, you should check out the market once a month, the first Friday. And here's my little dress I got that was in Berlin at a festival. I don't know the brand, and I got my tights. And I have my new rocks here for dancing. They're comfortable standing, dancing all night. Got those at Wave Gothic Treffin at the new rock stand. And I have this 3D cat ear and a matching necklace. I got that at a Gothic uh, jewelry market fair in Berlin. Amazing stuff there. And I have some rings here. This one I got at Thorn and Moon. I don't remember where I got all of them. That's the only one I remember. I believe I got this at the Thorn and Moon Market too. This one online somewhere. This one at the Spotted Pony. You should definitely go check them out if you're in spring. It's called the Spotted Pony. And these plastic bracelets. This one is from the Voodoo store in New Orleans. And I have these little earrings from a piercing stand at the tattoo convention. So that's basically it. I'm ready to go here. Hope everyone has a lovely Saturday evening. 
Toodles. Mwah. Bye ya. See you on the next one. One more thing I almost forgot, very important. In the hot summer, you must have your fan when you are going out. Even in the clubs and the inside, it gets hot when you're dancing. It's also a great accessory to dance with. And it just looks fabulous with this outfit. It matches pretty well. And also I have my hand back here, Black Craft Cult. Very stylish, faux vegan leather, of course. And it has these nice little pentacles on them. I got the hip bag, but the metal plate on it, it was upside down. So I had to send it back. And when I returned it, they were out of stock. I was so upset. So now I have to wait till October. I'm hoping they will respond. Maybe they'll give me like some money off or some way to compensate me for this grief and suffering <laughs> so this is it so everybody don't forget your fan tonight if you are in a hot climate toodles bye <laughs>